knocking it over. <laughs> All right. And failing. Failure. And it just kind of stuck. Failure. Uh oh. Dan's breaking stuff. I am breaking We're stuff. We're on Facebook. Yeah, we are on Facebook. It is now broken. I think you're breaking more stuff than Dan's breaking stuff so yeah, far. Yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're really, really trying to break your phone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this one. All right, you do that one. Cool. We're going to have... Yeah, oh, this is a oh, team viewer. The levels are good. Oh, all right. Look at yeah, all can, of those you can levels. Just look to your right. Like you don't even yeah. have to. Well, I can control it from here. <laughs> okay, but the, I'm just saying, the, the that's monitor, amazing. If the monitor goes black, I could want to get up and hit the mouse. Yeah, no, no. I feel you. I, I, I see what's going on. I'm just saying, like, you could have known that the levels were good because you just look over there. <laughs> and and you levels, don't have to hit any buttons. You're saving. It's the levels will be good. Economy of motion is all I'm saying, Jason. I get you. Jeet Kune Do. Is that what that means? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just made me think of Bruce Lee for some reason. All right. Enemy emotion. Yeah, fair See? enough. I'll, I'll, hey, anytime I can get uh, put in the same sentence as Bruce Lee, I'm going to take that as a win. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Works great. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> the Three Geeks Podcast. It took a little while, but we got there. <laughs> Jason, Max, Dan, no Yo. Scott, no Fuzzy, no John, um, no Mike. John's fun. I miss I fuzzy, fuzzy. I like the structure yeah, that yes. we have with Fuzzy now. Like it's something to look forward to every month. <laughs> it's next week, I believe. Awesome, awesome. Is it already? <laughs> yeah. I feel already. like it was just last week we had him on. It was two weeks ago, but he did it later last yeah. month. Okay. So, so it's gonna see. Oh, like okay. So, uh, oh man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. I feel like I'm blowing out those speech, those microphones. Oh, you're not blowing out. No, I'm looking at the the bars. Over no, that's right. good. That's we've, fine. We've had them nowhere near there. People. Yeah, 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 yeah I know, but I feel like we've gone been... too far the other direction yeah if you are watching us from facebook and wonder where the hell our show went on youtube we are on itunes stitcher and all that fun stuff so yeah check us out there join us there we're more regular yeah <laughs> prunes you know yeah there you go <laughs> brand dinner. fiber yeah we've been eating our fiber so we're on a more regular diet uh today's podcast is brought to you by audible go to audibletrial.com forward slash three geeks for all of your audiobook needs for those times when you're being regular and you want something to listen to Yes, whilst being regular. <laughs> I mean, it. it is a bit nasty to just take a book in there sometimes. Yeah, it, it, you know? It has to be a bathroom book. You know, I, I feel like yeah, once you take yeah. a book in there... It is now the bathroom book. It's a bathroom book. You read it in the bathroom, and then, like, maybe you dispose of it later. You know, like... Yeah. Or use it for toilet paper. I mean, it, it, multi-purpose like, in the apocalypse, or you know, like maybe it's like a really good rereader. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like, okay, I could read this. You read one page. Yeah, you one know. Page, yeah. Page. Well, no, I take I take really long dumps. I mean, like I, I <laughs> it's no everyone who knows me. There's gonna be about 15 minutes in there at least. Then so, Audible is great for you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I could Audible and I could I could get uh, get some James Bond read to me or some some what did what did William Shatner. Um, what did he... I think it was a start, some Star Trek books. Does he read his own, like, like Tech War books? Probably. Because that would be hilarious. I'm the only one who can read this. <laughs> Maybe. I'm down. Uh, so, yeah, so check that out. Um, oh, excuse me. Excuse I got me. a question um, about Audible. Uh, oh, unprofessional. I've heard a lot of people, when they listen to an audio book, I always oh. say, I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it. I never refer to myself as reading, reading it. it. Yeah, that Have you heard people me. say that? Yes. That's, you're not reading it. You're listening no. to it. You, no, you're not. But, but the, 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 it's an audio book. They're reading out an audio book. But they're but not. How, you, how do you read Somebody an audio book? Somebody else is reading you an audio book. How do you read an audio book? With your ears. You can't read with your ears. Yes, you can. You can read an audio book with your ears. Osmosis. It's not osmosis. It's hearing. Uh, <laughs> See, regular books are read with the eyes. Audio books are read, books with, are the read with the eyes. Yes. Regular books are read with the brain. It is a sensory experience. Okay. Read by the brain with the eyes. Yes. That was audibletrial.com. The audible audio books are read by the brain <laughs> with the ears. Uh, That's okay. how it works. <laughs> also, go to youtube.com oh forward slash Mike McGee TV. Mike just released his um, the uh, name. 
uh, of this episode. What's that? Is you read with your ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and many exclamation points. <laughs> he just released his guilty pleasure treasure, and he did it on uh, Harrison Ford Classic Frantic, which I haven't seen since I was a kid. I remember really yeah. liking that movie. That's a Polanski so, flick, though, isn't it? Yeah, I need to check that one out. Yeah. Add it to my list of movies to watch while I'm off to Wednesday. Nice. Uh, yeah, so check out Mike. Go to T Public. Check out the shirts we have on there. All the artwork was done by our buddy Mike. And then Arc Matter. Guys, we haven't said hi to Arc Matter I, since. We say hi yeah, to Arc Matter every we are time. True to freaking. We we got heart on Animaniacs. All right. So this is <laughs> this is you run this show, and it's it's crazy how people just get left. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Just left Shame. by the wayside. Arc Matter, we love you. Yes, we do. We do indeed. So, um, we always talk about what we've done this week. I've been watching NYPD Blue. You ever seen it, Dan? Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be a show like Law and Order. It's no, not. No. It's more about the cops and what they experience going through the day-to-day as opposed to murder, investigation, solved. Murder, they, investigation, solved. They wanted to be the naughty show. Oh, dude, the they time. are. And yeah, There's like side yeah. boobs. There's <laughs> side <laughs> boobs all over the place. side boobs. It's re- I, I'm really enjoying it, but the music, I can't stand the music. It is too 80s. It's like stereotypical 80s. Yeah. Yeah. But whatever, man. I mean, you, you get, you know, the, the, the entire package there. <laughs> it's fine. Until season two, because, uh, what's that one dude's name? The, the guy from uh, CSI now. Takes his glasses off all... I know who you're talking about. Cause... Yeah, because he he quit for his movie career and, and they, <laughs> yeah. they had to scramble. Yeah, because what a movie career that was. I, I, I have DB'd it because I'm like, he had a movie career? No. Yeah. <laughs> no he, he really did not have a movie career. I mean, career. He, he, he had the the lowest definition of a movie career, I, I think. He was in like Kiss of the Something with uh, Samuel Jackson. That's pretty much the, uh, the top of the top. The highlight of... Of his career there. Yeah. But, uh, uh, you done anything fun this last week, Dan? I played the crap out of Diablo 3 on the <laughs> Switch. <laughs> when did that and come all out? All day. I didn't realize Friday. that came out already. Yeah, I I am digging it. I played it on the on Xbox One for a while. Mm-hmm. And when it came out on the Switch, it had all the downloadable content on it. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go for that. Have you admitted that? I enjoyed Diablo three. Um, it 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 was just kind of like uh, there wasn't anything different about Diablo three to me. Like yeah. it's the same story, curse your son, yeah, but yes, inevitable yes. betrayal. Like it's always that, and I was like, come well, on, guys, of can it we is. get can we just get a different story, please? Like can we just for once, uh, Diablo's one, two, and three are all the exact same. Story. All right, well, hold, hold on one second. Going back to um, um, David, David Caruso Cruz says from movie NYPD career. Blue. Uh, First Blood, Session 9, Proof of Life, and Kiss of Death. He was Death. in Session 9? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's weird. And that's pretty anyway. much it. Hudson Hawk. That's the other. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's King of New way. York. But those those two were before NYPD Blue. Yeah. And, and King of New York is pretty awesome, honestly. But, hey. But, no. Diablo is all about loot grinding. <laughs> right. It's not like, about the story. Yeah. I, I just, I was like, well, no, I, I play it for the story because I don't really like loot grinding. It's my same problem with Destiny. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I like, you know, I, I, I want something to, you know, it's the same I guess I'm that, that asshole who plays Call of Duty. You're like, how come the one player mode isn't longer on Call of Duty? You're I like, do that too. Come on, man. That, like, but uh, yeah, no, it's a uh, it, yeah. I'm just like, you guys can do better. Like, it, I mean, the same story. It's just the same story again. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a demon. You betrayed us. Oh, you betrayed us to the demons. <laughs> Ermagard. Oh, how could you betray us? Like, come on. Like, we didn't see this coming. But you get to run through heaven in Diablo 3. Um, you, 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 get to, you get to get betrayed in heaven in Diablo 3. No, no, no. You get betrayed, then you go to heaven. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. And then, uh, those guys betray you in, in, yeah, yeah. in the so next half. And then so, another know? betrayal. And Woo. then another betrayal. So, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, It's just boring to me. 
Um, I did enjoy playing the monk. I liked ringing people's yeah, bells yeah. with the monk. Ringing people. <laughs> but, you know, you just, like, drop that spirit bell on them. Yes. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's boring, you I'm, know? I'm gonna play through as the witch doctor next, I think. Okay, that's a lot that of fun. fun. You're making all the, like, toads and stuff come yeah, up out of the ground. Yeah, like toads. you like, doing a little jig in the corner there. Um, <laughs> no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's boring, though. It's really boring. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, just give me a good story. I mean, I feel like it's not hard nowadays. You know, you can hire people to tell a story, and it's not yeah. that expensive or hard. Like, so you can pay the same money and get a better product, and I don't see why you wouldn't just try to do that. Like, but maybe. how many games really have a good story anymore? Hey, hey, why don't you just give it a shot? Yeah, I'm, you know? I'm, I'm not arguing <laughs> with you. I'm, give it I'm, a shot. Like, how? I mean, with, it... it it, you're, if your story sucks anyway, it doesn't hurt to make, you know, to try to make a story. And if it sucks, you're just like, well, you know, it, we make sucky stories. But at least they're different. <laughs> at least they're different. It's not just like, okay, we're going to slap some new some new characters on here and call it something different. I mean, you're going to make Diablo in, into that uh, two-human game. Uh, Do you remember that? No. Oh, it, it was a cool story. It was like all the Norse gods were actually like, you know, like they, they had this space power and, and stuff. And okay. It was, it was all supposed to be great. I mean, the story was really cool. The game just completely no, sucked. Because like, you've already got the game down. You know, so like Diablo has not changed. Not really, no. So what are we doing here? If the story is the same. Grinding for loot. That's what we're doing If the story is the same. And the and the gameplay is the same. What are we doing here? I just told you. <laughs> oh my goodness! They should have just called it Diablo Two Remastered. And technically, I think Diablo Two was better. But you see, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I I get it, but eh. yeah, you get the new characters, all the new characters in Diablo Three that aren't in Diablo Two. You throw them into Diablo Two, call it a new game. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Max, what have you done this weekend besides rant about Diablo? Right. <laughs> uh, actually, not, not, I've just been kind of... I've been playing a lot of Magic. I have been playing a lot of Magic. So, that's what I've been doing. That's easy to do. The new set's fun. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get my uh, Grixis dragons together. I like big stompy dragons flying a boot. And... Uh, <laughs> Is it the same as like the old dragon decks? No. Like... There's nothing, that was ridiculous. They, no, they, 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 back when they used to just make cards like super OP, like yeah, all willy yeah. nilly, like because they didn't really know what you know, like what they were doing within the the game. <laughs> it's it's got, like turn nine and there's no dragons out yet. It's like, oh. <laughs> no, no. Um, there's ways to get the dragons out. There's cheaper dragons. Um, all right. Yeah, it's uh, it's not it's it's more fun and there's ways to like cheat them out and yada yada. So okay, yeah. there's good times to be had in the kingdoms. And, uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Magic. Okay. And there's not a lot of movies to go watch. Like, I, I've been trying to go to the movies, because I'm paying for the stupid AMC thing, and I'm like, I only, I already saw the movie that I want to see. When the Quiet Before the Storm. I hate this. And then it was about to be freaking Oscar season, and I'm going to have to go watch fucking Lady Bird again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> now, Lady Bird was already out this year. It was called Eighth Grade, and it wasn't as good. Okay, I missed that one. That was um, that was, a slice that was of life Bo movie. Burnham, right? I think so. It was okay. But I like his comedy though. It, as Six said, it was okay. It just brought back bad memories of it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I guess it did its job then. So <laughs> yes. There, there you go. All um, right. So, um, what do we got? Luke Cage and Iron Fist were canceled because they lost two thirds of their viewership between seasons one and two. Well, yeah, yeah. Every, everybody saw Iron Fist, and well, they're I mean, like, "Yeah, oh, this is awful." Oh, yeah, every, everyone saw Iron Fist and then Defenders, and then it was like, "All right, y'all just don't care." But I mean, it even yeah. affect uh, Daredevil's numbers are down fifty two percent, which is pretty big. Yeah, huh. it might have been time. You know, what I'm saying like too much time between. I don't know how how long was it since the last Daredevil. It's been a while. I mean, you're only as good as the last thing you were in, and unfortunately, they put them in the Defenders. Right. I, I mean, mean, that probably hurt a little bit. But like, season three of Daredevil was good. I liked it. I'm I'm one of those lost because I haven't seen it yet, but I will. <laughs> Dan, you're hurting Daredevil right oh, now. Oh no! I'm Daredevil needs your help. They ruined my Iron Fist. I don't care oh, what they need. Oh my goodness! They did. They did. They screwed the pooch on Iron Fist so hard. 
I mean, it's just like, there's no argument for Finn Jones. There's just no argument for him. No. That guy from Game of Thrones, he could do something. He's maybe. got a face. He's got a face. Words and arms. come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he can make his face look all pouty. <laughs> yeah, this is very true. And he does intense acting <laughs> and, and really intense pseudo yoga, yoga apparently. Yeah. Yes. Yoga. I'd call it, yeah, yoga esque. Pseudo yoga. Diet. That's what I'm going with. Pseudo yoga. There you go. <laughs> We'll just keep adding stuff. It's fine. <laughs> Chibi diet. Pseudo yoga. <laughs> hip hop. So, obviously, none of you guys are surprised about that, but Ryan Reynolds and the rest of the Deadpool 2 team have gotten together to shoot quite a bit of footage for their PG 13 release that's coming out in December. I um, am excited for this. It looks like we're going to get pretty much a different movie, probably with some of the same bone. Um, I, uh, I think I went on a rant about, uh, the, the radio edit, the, the, the art of the radio edit. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm down for this. If they can pull off a great PG, th- I might go buy the PG-13 yeah, Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. Just that, I, I want it to be, I want it to be great. I just want it to be spectacular, and I'm hoping that they just do a great job and crush it. I feel like Ryan Reynolds went to Fox, like, look, you're losing... You're losing Deadpool at the beginning of next year. So why don't you let us do this PG-13 movie? You guys will reap the benefits financially, and then we can kind of prove to Marvel and Disney that they might want to keep us around a little bit. I mean, that might be it. Um, It seems like it makes sense to me, and it's also Fox is trying to get a little bit more change before I think they... This, you see, this I'm down for. Also, I, I, I enjoy this endeavor. A lot of things Fox does I can't get behind. You know, and I'm happy. <laughs> like most of the things Fox does, I can't get behind. Yeah, so I'm happy when they're doing something like I think is is fun and, and interesting, and it's yeah, it's it makes business sense, and it's it, like wow, look at them, look at them, and in their the, the last minute, the last second of their relevancy, they're gonna be like, you're doing all the right things. We did like, something good. Yeah, like finally we get it. Okay, <laughs> we're bankrupt or whatever. You know, we sold off to Disney, like. Uh, it, it it baffles me. Yeah, like where were these decisions twelve years ago? You know, where were, where were these decisions with the first Fantastic Four attempt? Oh. Not not the Corman one, but like no, like no. the first like modern it's, Fantastic Four. It's sad where, when the Corman one is better than oh your, my your modern. God. I mean, at least for its corniness you know, and it, it's, its attempt. Yeah, but uh, yeah, excuse me. Um, yeah, it just sucks. It's it's. I mean, I'm I'm happy about Deadpool. I I, I like I like yeah. the Deadpool movies. I like Ryan Reynolds and the whole crew. Uh, Marina Baccarin is is awesome. I loved her in Firefly. I loved her in freaking everything she's in. Pretty much. No, actually, she was in that V remake, and it was terrible. <laughs> uh, I, I actually I, haven't I, seen I watched that. like I'm gonna say 13 whole minutes of that, and I was like, nah. But uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of the old one. Yeah, so you're probably gonna love this one. Probably not. Yeah, I bet you love it the most. The old one had Robert England in it. Sure, whatever. Yeah, you know? But uh, <laughs> no, I, um, I want the Deadpool, you know, PG thirteen edit to be like the uh, the Scarface TV version. No, <laughs> <laughs> this, this city is like a chicken ready to be plucked. <laughs> Uh yeah, no, I'm hoping. But I mean, whatever they do, like I, th- I mean, if they're obviously doing like a bunch of hard work on it, like it should be something good. Like so, I'm 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 down to watch it, and it's got to be funny. But it's Fox, you know, they're doing hard work on stuff, and it yeah, should but it's PG thirteen, it... so it's like it's, this checks off all like the 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 boxes that was like, will this make money? Most likely, is it good for kids? Yes. <laughs> And <laughs> maybe. Oh man. Or or what if they go the other way? They're like, this is the PG thirteen Deadpool. And it's just like all the blood, sex, and porn you can get your hands on. <laughs> now is is there gonna be an an extended version of that on Blu-ray? <laughs> Probably. Because I mean you can just melt the hell out of this for as long <laughs> as you want. And here's the NC seventeen yeah, version yeah, of, yeah, the of, of the PG thirteen cut of the movie that came out last yes. year. Yes. The G-rated version of Deadpool. <laughs> you can watch it with your babies. It's just Ryan Reynolds saying, Welcome to the end. <laughs> Ish. 
So Martin Lawrence and Will Smith recently reunited on Instagram. I believe that's where they reunited to announce Bad Boys for Life. I know Max is waiting for them Great. to... Uh, I'm looking forward to this. I love these movies. They're guilty pleasures. Yeah. I thought the first one was a, a legitimately fun film. The second one was batshit crazy fun. So... They, love- they invade Cuba. In the second one, they do invade it's, Cuba. It's it's re- so ridiculous. <laughs> like it's gonna be like Fifty Cent blowing the sand. I mean, sand. the first the first the Bad Boys movie, like they chase this dude down. He's a, a drug dealer. He's peddling drugs. He's, they they catch him. They they find him on an airstrip. He's about to take a private jet <laughs> out of there. They chase Whoa. down the plane. That is a a scenario I can get my head around. Yeah. International criminal kidnaps your sister. You fly to Cuba, invade Cuba, then drive through. You pretty much destroy, like, I'm going to say hundreds of people's houses as you drive a bright yellow Hummer through a town. Hold on, hold on. Bad Boys 2, that's the one where they're throwing coffins, right? On the freeway? Yeah, yes. throw coffins on the freeway, <laughs> steal a car from Dan Marino. And, um, <laughs> that might be why I like it. Dan's in it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, no, Bad out. Boys 2 was so fucking stupid. Yeah. It was just, uh, no, it was too much. I love Bad Boys. I love the first Bad Boys movie. I am a fan of that one. But Bad Boys 2, other than the scene where they... The, the, the dude comes up to take his daughter out on a date, and they just fuck that little kid up. Uh, that was, was, it's like, how old is you, 15? No, you at least 30. Like, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was good. But other than that, and of course, that's a believable thing. Why did I like it? Because that seems to me like a scenario that those guys yeah, would yeah. be in. Not, we got to invade Cuba. They stole my sister. So, like, um, come on, my sister. <laughs> so does the fact that Michael Bay is not directing this, does that make you at all more excited for it? No. A little bit, maybe? I mean, I guess, yeah. Like, I'm, I mean, It's got to be a step up, you know, because at least it's not Michael Bay. Apparently, you can always say that. Apparently, yeah. Martin Lawrence was the holdout on this. <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? Good for him. Good for him. I'm glad. That hey Martin Lawrence, you got a good head on your shoulders, bro. Because you knew that last movie was some odd garbage. You knew it, and he was like, "I ain't doing that again." I'm Martin Lawrence. I'll eat out this trash can for for, <laughs> for another four weeks before I do that again. <laughs> Martin Lawrence like Oscar the Grouch, just like they're like, "Hey Martin." You want to come make a Bad Boys movie? It's like, no. get out of here. <laughs> Let's talk about um, some people who have their priorities straight in life. So a bunch of Guardians of the Galaxy fans got together, and they got $4,000 raised between them to put up a billboard that says, please rehire James Gunn. Yeah. Okay. So like with all the important shit going on in the world, this group of people <laughs> I spent mean, did, $4,000 on a billboard. Did they rehire James Gunn? No, they're not going to rehire James then, Gunn. Disney you know, can't. They've, they've already. Why didn't you get that money to breast it. cancer or something? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you just set your money on fire. <laughs> you know, you could have, you could have just stacked up the four thousand dollars, made a YouTube video of you setting it on fire, and that might have gotten you more views towards the hiring of James. This is Gunn. true. <laughs> Watch some fans burn four thousand in protest, <laughs> so you or in sacrifice to get James Gunn. Like, see a, Disney, how much money we are willing to burn. Max so you will hire James Gunn. <laughs> just if you like James Gunn and Guardians, and just look forward to whatever he does with Suicide Squad. Because mm. it's probably better than Suicide Squad. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, better. it's gonna be much better. It could be Max taking a shit, and it would be better than Suicide Squad. At least the plot would make sense. Yes, and the plot would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like. I see what she did there. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, that that was dumb. Yeah, people. I mean, come on. I I I I buy magic cards and I, I but at least I, I'm spending money on my having a good time. Yeah, you know, like this makes sense. Yeah, uh, that's that. So yeah, it's a waste of money, but at least I'm wasting the money on myself to to spend time doing something. Oh, now dude, you they, have, they walk out and they look at that billboard and they're just like, I did that. But yeah, like, okay, and, so so they walk out. So like, you can walk out yeah. of your house and see the billboard, or like, you got to drive. 15 minutes to wherever the billboard's at to well, see the probably billboard. one of them that donated can see it from their house. It's just, okay. That's just odd. Uh, because they live underneath it? <laughs> well, they live underneath the bridge that, the, that it, it's the over. Okay, Because they, gotcha. they use their rent money to... To pay to buy, pay the stupid <laughs> billboard. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, that's so dumb. Like, I just feel like there's other things you could have spent that money. There's a lot yeah, of other things a you could have spent that money on. I mean, I, I, I need a PS4 so I can play Spider-Man. Could you just, like, send me the money for that instead of buying this stupid billboard that's not going to get anything done? You could have just bought Diablo 3 and then... <laughs> but I don't want to play Diablo 3, I want to play Spider-Man. But they're donating you the money anyway. So. But I want to play Spider-Man, so I mean, if... if <laughs> If I could just get the PS4 and the Spider-Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> Diablo 3, I'm not interested in. <laughs> I know. That would just be like, okay, thanks for getting me something that I'm not going to use. It's going to sit like up there. Like a billboard. Like... <laughs> That's not going to get a dude rehired. Yeah, but then, again, then we're just wasting money for wasting its sake. <laughs> that does nobody any good. We have come full circle. No. No, Dan. We need to get the PS4 and the Spider-Man. <laughs> billboard people. Make it happen. <laughs> Maybe then James Gunn will be rehired. Yes. If I play enough Spider-Man, I'm sure James Gunn will be rehired. <laughs> well, that is a fact. The Steven Spielberg produced Halo series will start filming next year. I think huh. the beginning of next year. Halo series on what? Uh, oh. Showtime. And will indeed follow really? Master Chief. Is so he's going to do... about that? Andrew might see his face. Ooh. That was in the article. He might take his mask off. Yeah, okay. Who cares? Like, I mean, who is he? I'm just... laying up at night all the time wondering what yeah. Master Chief looks like. It looks like yeah. the actor that they hired to play you know. Master Chief. So whenever There's... they're like, okay, we hired this guy to play Master Chief, you're Finn like, Jones. that's what his Finn face looks Jones. like. Yeah, and then he can make a pony face. <laughs> I got power armor. Yay. <laughs> sometimes my iron fist works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes what am I to do? That. Do you take a shot every time he mentions his chi? Uh, like, even in the uh, Luke Cage episode, you can get pretty drunk. Um, <laughs> you yeah, pretty... You, you, every time he mentions his chi or every time he talks about fighting a dragon. No, no. You want to get sloshed every time they have a boardroom meeting. Or, well, they, or yeah, that's for the, I mean, every time he mentions his parents <laughs> in a plane. I, mean, I think it's alcohol poisoning. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> or, or you can't play with liquor. You will die now. Play with Kool Aid. <laughs> no, you got to play with like beer. I'm just saying, you can't play with like liquor. You know, so like, you can't be doing like shots of. Oh, I can't. I don't want to remember anything about Iron Fist. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> like, <coughs> like half the first episode, I'm oh, gone. We're good. <laughs> All right. Good so uh, Disney is promising a course correction for Star Wars with Episode Nine. I don't think it needs a course correction. I like the course it's on. Yeah. I did too. I, mean, I liked it. Whatever. They did something different. I've heard rumors of another Death Star in this movie. I'm great uh, that rumors. But we don't need a fucking Death Star in any Star Wars movie in every ever Star again. Star Wars movie. <laughs> the yes, best yeah. Star Wars movie, in my Actually, opinion, you know the best what? two don't even have no. a Death Star in them. Give me a Death Star. Give me some freaking Ewoks. Let's just do it up. Let's do it up in the old Star Wars style. Yeah, and then let's bring the band back together one more time. One last ride for the freaking Gipper. Like, why the fuck not? <laughs> I mean, goodness sake. We haven't seen this seven times. Haven't I just gotten on Diablo's ass about this? <laughs> no, but the the fun thing about that is, is that now now that what, seven came out. Seven? Eight? Eight came out. Oh, Jesus, I don't know my numbers. Yeah, you're um, old. Yeah, you know. Your, your freaking age-addled oh, mind is... Oh, God, my age-addled... My, my, my Iron Fist liquor-addled mind. <laughs> yes, yes, if you had been playing the Iron Fist drinking game one time where you received such a heavy <laughs> dose of alcohol that you never your, recover Your brain just refuses it. to work at this point. <laughs> No, like, like, and, and, and you got the backlash of all the fans saying, it's too different, they don't know what's going on. So, to so give them a Death Star and freaking Ewoks and everything, oh, then you get the other spectrum, or, or yeah, the other side of the spectrum, and they're like, like oh, it's the same thing, and, you know, I, I just want to see a cage battle. There is no winning, though, because episode no, 8, like not. you said, well, people bitched that episode 7 was too much like a new hope. Fine. Yeah. They gave us episode 8. It's way too different, which I really like episode 8. And yeah. then they give I us Han too. Solo, which is, in all intents and purposes, Star Wars. Like, old school Star Wars. I mean, granted, it wasn't necessary, but it did hit all the quote-unquote Star Wars beats. Uh, and nobody went and saw it. Uh, so, like, what do these fans want? Uh, look, what all I want is good storytelling. Like, yeah. do they want J.J. to, like, episode, and then it says episode six, and it's crossed out, and it writes nine on the, yeah, like, the yeah. same crawl, and then the same episode six? Um, I'd, look... That's what I would have liked. Want. They 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 missed an opportunity. Um, they, to kill Finn. 
Yeah, yeah, like Finn could have just like not been an issue. That would have been cool if they like he wasn't even in this movie, and then maybe he comes back in the third movie into in nine and then does some stuff. But they really could have cut. And, and and I'm not even hating on the chick that everyone hates on. What's her name? I don't like remember. His little buddy. Yeah, no, I know who you're talking about. She was um, great. I'm yeah. cool with that. No, but, but like. Like she was, her her character was unnecessary because her character was wrapped up with Finn's character who was well, that, wholly that whole, unnecessary. That so. whole arc was unnecessary. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. So it's like it's not her fault. It's it's their fault. But but uh, yeah. So Finn could be gone, and that saves us a bunch of time and money and yeah. money yeah, and money. <laughs> and then and then I mean I I like the character. I yeah. just wish they would do something with him. The uh, the fight scene with the the guard at the end I, I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, the Red Guard, the Imperial Guard. I, I like that. I did like that. I, I mean, they, they should have been a little more badass, but... Yeah, I I, uh, I wish it would have been more of, like, those guys. Like, it gives you a chance to showcase what the Force does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When, uh, when you have them fighting regular people. And so they need to be much, much better than them. Yeah. You know, like, if you're using the Force, it needs to show... That you're a, a class above, and then like okay, yeah, these guys are Imperial Guard, but like, there's no way you can you can. But yeah, anyway, so I I felt like the scene was was kind of <laughs> ridiculous, and uh, it should have been more. You know, like how does how does a freaking Sith Lord, this guy who's like cultivated all these things to happen, this guy who's been is so in control the whole time, yeah, like gets got by the little oh, I'm just gonna flick the switch, and and then you get got like. No, I, I, I kind of like that, actually. But that's kind but. of one of my problems with uh, the episode 7 and 8 is you watch 7 and it builds up Snoke to be this this overseer, and then 8 just kind of ignores all of that Snoke. and kills Snoke. Like, yeah, and then, like, I don't mind that he's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just how he went out. Like, I don't mind that he's dead. Like, he can definitely, but it should have been, that should have been the battle. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, it's like, it's it, episode 8 proves that Disney did not sit down J.J., Ryan, and, you know, whoever yeah. was going to do not and say, this is what we need to do. They just let them all wing their own movies instead yeah. of having a through line. That, that bothers the, me. I, I, like, I kind of like that idea, honestly. But, yeah, I, I, I don't explain. like... Explain. <laughs> I don't like how, like, every single movie has to be, you know, the first thing of a trilogy. And, and I, I know it's Star Wars. You know, and and I know you know Lucas had it all planned out from the beginning, yeah. bladdy bladdy. But I mean, I I just want to have a movie that has a beginning and a middle and an end, totally and then right. maybe a sequel, like down the line. Like I, I again, I know it's Star Wars, and and, it, and it's not the best. Okay, no, but explain to me example how they're they're. It, I thought you were just defending, like, why do you like how Snoke went out? Like, how is that oh, acceptable? Oh, that? How is that acceptable? Or do you just think it's funny? I, I like that his his ego just got so friggin' big that he just couldn't see what was right under his nose, nah. is I think what they're going for. But... Nah, man. I, I, <laughs> I like that idea. I, I think... I, I, I like that scene. But, but like, if... Okay, if the Force didn't work the way it does, I, like, I, I enjoy that, too. But you should be able to like like that. That's like basic shit. But, you know what I'm saying? Like how are but you? The like, bad guys bad? always have a blind spot because oh they're. Oh my god! Uh, come so, on, man! This is so dumb. Yeah, it's so dumb. Yeah, but that that's what you get when you have like black and white. Oh, oh, it was so dumb. I'm just like the most basic shit. Can I just get some sweet shit happening, please? Star Wars is a morality tale. Yeah, but like, I just want to see sweet shit happen. And that's not happening when the dude dies like that. It makes me laugh. Uh, we're wasted. Wasted. Uh, whatever. Wasted. You wasted know what I didn't want to see is is that giant CGI monstrosity get up and start swinging around a friggin' lightsaber like we saw in, in, in episodes one through three. No, that's a, that's also what I'm not about. I'm saying, like, hey, <laughs> that's let's do of worms. <laughs> let's do Crouching Tiger, except you give them lightsabers. Okay. Okay, yes, that's what I want. I mean, I want to see sweet shit happen. That's cool, but that's <laughs> not what they would have done with it. I understand, scene. but again, we're in this hypothetical dream world where I get what I want, where sweet shit happens. Crouching Tiger, if you ever get on the internet... And you want to see cool lightsaber battles? Watch Crouching Tiger Little Sword Fights 
with lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, these are the greatest lightsaber battles of all time. And it's and all they did was make the swords glow. We have a comment on Facebook. Yeah. From, uh, Mike McGee. What's up? Is yeah. probably calling back to your earlier Bad Boys comment. But he is saying the Force isn't real, Max. The Force isn't real. I know. You're supposed to make it look like it is on movie in the movies. That's what <laughs> you're supposed to do. It's Mike, not. It's good to have you back, buddy. Even in like the Twitter version. Oh well, the good news is, Mike, we do know how to get you on the podcast sounding perfect now. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we figured through that most, out through the most rudimentary means <laughs> in true three geeks fashion. <laughs> Indeed. All right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, Fuzzy will be on next week, I believe. I have to confirm that with him, but it's the second Sunday of the month. Cool. So I can't wait to see what movie he brings. I checked out Train to Busan. Just go to 3 yeah, yeah, yeah. and read my review. Uh, spoiler alert, it's a great movie. Spoiler alert, it's a great review. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I've been watching Making a Murderer, part two. Yeah. Uh, did they remake the murderer? Did they make yeah, him yeah. did they make him into a more efficient killing machine? Okay, so there, did they make him faster? Stronger. <laughs> there's they're part we of can the, rebuild him. Part of the Go with second, me if you want to live. The second series they are they're showing you the um, how somebody goes about getting like appeals and stuff, and I find that interesting. But then another the, the other half of it is pretty much just restating what the first season said. So it's cool to watch them, you know, try to figure out and do all that stuff. But then when you're they're just recapping it, it bothers me. Uh, yeah, you won't be a ghost DVP, Mike. Uh, yeah. you, guys, you guys got anything to add to the podcast before I tell the good people good night? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I yeah. think we're good. That's uh, yeah, just going to say uh, recycle your droids, I guess. AudibleTrial.com forward slash three geeks. Scott will be back next week. Have a great day. Recycle your droids. You didn't. You didn't have to like do that all super fast. Micro machiney. I recycle like to do a micro machiney, Dan. Very, very strange. Recycle your droids. <laughs> That's the Facebook ending. <laughs> That's that computer's audio. <laughs> I don't hear the buzzing. Do you? I don't either, but I didn't before either, and then we you sent it to me, and it was there. Oh, well, Dan gets to listen to the freaking audio 38 times. <laughs> I love the, the awkward starts and endings. I love things. T-Viewer. I've been, when I'm lazy upstairs and don't want to come down here, I'll just team viewer into my computer and play SimCity. I used to, I used to team view to watch, uh... Netflix? Uh, no, no, the, the guys at work. <laughs> oh, did you? It's rock, yeah. You're still recording. Oh, we're still on Facebook, guys. Oh, damn. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! I'm checking my fantasy scores. Too, I'm fucking winning. We're too damn lazy to get up there and turn the thing off. I know, that's what Facebook gets the extra. Just a little extra. Yeah. I, I, I hope you're, you're grateful. You know what the difference between extra and extraordinary is? Just that little bit of extra. <laughs> the golf? The between ordinary and extraordinary? Just that little extra. All right. Just a little extra. Oh, That's... shit. I need to... Yeah. Are we still on Facebook? Is... Yeah, we're on Facebook. My yeah. phone's over there. We're, we're about to go drop I you were phone. turning it off with your TV, right? Yeah. Yeah, because I... TeamViewer is the bestest. <laughs> I learned on Facebook that we're kind oh of... Oh, my God, you didn't drop it. Yeah. Congratulations. That is amazing.